So we're sitting here in front of Sebastian Loeb's Peugeot and you can see that things are a little off kilter. We're gonna show you why right now. For how many kilometers was the wheel like this? Uh, like this, uh, only at the end, but uh, it was a long time where you drove, uh, I think, 30 kilometers with the pump. Wow, that was a lot of hard work. I think it's time to relax. So we're here in the middle of downtown area, keep it. What's your name? Everybody speaks football, it's a universal language. This thing needs to wash. <laughs> oh, my bad. They are running. They need 12 cars, then it, they stop the stage at CP3 which frightened me in case they take your time, you know. But to clarify, when they cancel the race midway through, you guys finished. Yeah. We finished, so we get we keep our time, mm -hmm. and everybody get the, the worst time of the last car arrive at the finish. Mm. It's, it's a benefit. Mm. Yes and no, because yeah. the last uh, cars for sure uh, lose more if they do the stage than having a special time. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. But so they are already far. So it's when you say a big stone, how big do you mean? Like show me with your hands. Like really, 50, like this. 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A stone like that, just yeah, yeah. bang. In, in, uh, enough to make the car uh, jump. jump. Oh. What? If you guys look at this, stuff, you can be happy that this wasn't you. Uh, what? Even I don't remember where this? it is. Where it is. <laughs> you never had something like that. Uh, no, I don't remember this place. <laughs> <laughs> behind me just had one of the most impressive stages of the entire rally. Started in first, finished in first, and picked up three places in overall standings along the way. You literally can't have a better day on the rally. Let's find out what worked for Sebastian Loeb. Yeah, today on the track was uh, dunes of the stage where we were stuck last year. We lost the rally then. I was a bit afraid of that. Great. You don't strike me as a guy who's ever, ever afraid of anything. And no, it's not like this. It's a good day for us, first on the track. It was, uh, it was a great day for us, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Start first, yep. finish first, yep. win three places at uh, overall, it's a mm -hmm. not bad day. We all think of you as a, as a really funny guy. Yeah. But when it comes to this, you're pretty serious? Yeah, it's my job. <laughs> mm -hmm. Explain to the viewers how a big guy like you is faster than a little guy like Sam on the beach. I've got traction, mate. This is what it's all about. I'm about to get a little bit more of it. As you can see up here, the boys have got on some uh, perfect cut-up meat. It's going to be insane. But, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to pass Sam like I did on that beach. It just, uh, he was like swinging off it, flapping off his bikes, moving all around. And then, uh, next thing, just big guys just sitting there cruising along. It's like he's on a Sunday ride. So, uh, traction. Traction, mate, is what it's all about. <laughs> 